Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today, we've got 10 amazing facts for you. Number 1. According to a law made in 1953 in Ohio, no one can be arrested on the 4th of July nor on a Sunday if they are on their way to or from a designated place of worship. In 1998, the Ohio Senate tried to repeal this law, but it failed to pass. Not only is the law still in effect today, it even further states that whoever arrests a person in violation of these provisions shall pay the person arrested $100 to be recovered by civil action. There are some exceptions to this law, including including treason, the commission of a felony, and breach of the peace, including drunk driving. Number 2. The East African country of Uganda has a population of over 35 million people, but the astonishing part is that according to the 2010 census, 48.4% of the population is below the age of 15. A mere 2.5% of the population was 65 years and older, making it the youth capital of the world. Number 3. During the American Civil War, the Union soldiers blocked supplies to the Confederacy. Due to this, there were mass shortages and the newspaper offices ran out of paper. The scarcity of paper forced editors into being resourceful and to finding other means of publishing, which they did. They used wallpaper to print their newspapers. This was not ripped from parlor walls, as some books mistakenly state, but rather new rolls of wallpaper were used. Some editions of the Confederate papers were even printed on other substitutes like brown wrapping paper, blue ledger paper, and even tissue paper. Number 4. Franklin Roosevelt was the first president to have an armored car. But why he would need one and where he got it might surprise you. In 1941, the Secret Service found themselves in a bit of a jam. The Japanese had just bombed Pearl Harbor and President Roosevelt needed a ride to address both houses of Congress. Normally, they would have just driven him in his 1939 V-12 convertible. However, the attack on Pearl Harbor had the Secret Service nervous that an attack may be made on the president. So, driving a non armored car was out of the question. They had roughly 24 hours to come up with an armored vehicle to transport the president, and thanks to Congress, they had a spending limitation of only $750, which amounts to roughly $10,500 in today's terms. Thankfully, a Secret Service agent named Mike Riley remembered seeing an armored 1928 341A Cadillac Town Sedan at the Treasury Department's impound lot. It was none other than Al Capone's Cadillac that had been seized for tax evasion. Number 5. The 27th President of the United States, President William Howard Taft, serving from 1909 to 1913, was the heaviest president in U.S. history. He was 5'11 and weighed roughly 290 pounds. Not only was he the heaviest, he was also the last president to have facial hair. In 1929, Taft became the Chief Justice of the United States. He is the only person to have ever served in both offices. Number 6. The name Kodak was devised by George Eastman, founder of Eastman Kodak and his mother, while playing with an anagram set. They were looking for a name that adhered to three principles. Short, cannot be mispronounced, and should not resemble anything or be associated with anything else except for the business that would eventually be called by that name. Number 7. Superglue really is super. A one square inch bonding of superglue can hold around one ton. Superglue has even been used to bond a small surface area of metal attached to a crane, which was then glued to a car. The car was lifted successfully by the crane without the bond breaking. Number 8. According to a study done in 2006, most carbonated soft drinks do actually contain a little alcohol. This is due to the fermentation of sugars in the non-sterile environment of the drink. In some types of soda pop, additional alcohol is also introduced from the fact that alcohol is used in the preparation of some of the flavor extracts. In some types of soda pop, additional alcohol is also introduced from the fact that alcohol is used in the preparation of some of the flavor extracts. However, before anyone starts campaigning, to make soda pop illegal for kids due to the alcohol content, it should be noted that a typical container of yogurt of similar volume to some amount of soda pop will contain about two times the amount of alcohol over the amount in the soda pop. Number 9. Canadians store milk in bags rather than cartons. Surprisingly, they aren't alone. You can also find bagged milk in India, Scandinavia, Poland, Israel, Hungary, Argentina, and Uruguay. Number 10. If you have a computer hard drive that failed, you should try putting it in the freezer inside a plastic bag for about 20 minutes. After that, immediately put it back into your computer. This may sound ridiculous, but sometimes that will cause it to work long enough for you to copy your data to another drive. Repeat as necessary until you've got all your data off. 
So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a like below and don't forget to subscribe. Also over there on the right are a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.